because of these demogra the demographic disparity, we're going to see flows of population through migration from the developing world to the developed world. The aging developed world requires immigrants to pay for pensions, for example, uh, because of a decline in the working age populations. And so projections for, um, for Europe are that we're going to see a tripling in the non uh, proportion of the populations of non-European ancestry between now and 2050, which is a faster change than the U.S. will experience in that period. Uh, and this is going to not only bring ethnic change, but on the back of that bring uh, a re-injection of religion into these societies. And I've done some work on this with some demographers, and we've done some projections based on a number of different assumptions. Um, and what we sort of find is that what's happening in Europe is you're getting, the demography is acting as a kind of break on secularization. So it's slowing down the process of religious decline. It's not stopping it, it's slowing it down. Um, but this is likely to sort of flatten out sometime around 2050. So it's, we can see that already in the major cities, Paris, London, Amsterdam, and so on, cities that are major immigrant gateways. Uh, London, for example, um, is between uh, 1989 and 2005, I believe. Uh, I think I've got those dates right. But in this 20-year period, uh, Christian attendance dropped 40% in the rest of England and it remains stable in London. So London really bucks this trend of religious decline in the rest of England. Why? Well, if you look inside a London church, the typical London church is 60% uh, ethnic minority. Uh, if we include sort of white ethnic minorities, if you like, from Eastern Europe, that figure is even higher. So a very strong input from immigrant and immigrant descended people in Christianity in London, as is true in Paris, where there's been a big increase in Protestant uh, Christianity. Uh, so you have this kind of counteracting effect of, of global demography counteracting the Im impact of religious decline. Uh, so in London, the two have kind of balanced each other out. So Christianity remains stable, but in that time, of course, Islam, uh, Islam, Hinduism, Sikhism, other non-Christian religions have grown uh, substantially in the city. So it's, it's, uh, <coughs> some of the figures show that attendance at mosque each week is greater than attendance at Church of England services each week. As a, as a statistic, it give you a sense of the kinds of impacts that uh, immigration is having on the religious picture in Europe. Uh, it's also important to recognize that the ethnic difference between uh, immigrants and the host population acts as a sort of cultural defense for religion. And this, those of you who are familiar with secularization theory, the work of David Martin in particular, he says, you know, he focuses on situations where uh, ethnic conflicts help to reinforce and protect religion from secularization. So Northern Ireland, where you've got Protestants against Catholics, uh, is the most religious part of the United Kingdom. Why? Well, because the ethnic conflict continually reinforces religious boundaries as well as ethnic ones. So in that sense, we see similar things happening uh, with respect particularly to Islam, Sikhism, Hinduism. The non-Christian religions in London, if you look at the second generation that's born in Britain or born in Holland, Germany, so on. The second generation is as religious as their parents. You, the only community where you see a significant drop off in religious attendance uh, is the West Indian, Afro Caribbean community. West Indians are, of course, Christians. When the, the, gen the first generations that came to Britain were often Anglican or Methodist rather than Pentecostalist. Uh, and these communities really fell in t with the assimilation pattern in Britain, have a high rate of intermarriage, whereas the non-Christian communities have a relatively low rate of intermarriage. So this cultural defense then combined with migration is leading to uh, growth and retention of religion in the West. 